This video is an introduction to cubic, quadratic thirds in mathematics. To learn basic thirds, I have left a link in the description to help you learn basic, fundamental algebraic thirds from the scratch for beginners. Solution to questions will come after this introduction. This video will show you the end of your result from the beginning and the basic conditions of cubic thirds representation. How to find the cube root of a binomial quadratic third, also known as third order third, or simply a cubic third. Before we look at the basic conditions of a cubic third, let's recall considering a quadratic third of the form of a plus or minus the square root of b. If we have a plus 2 multiplied by the square root of b and we are to find the square root the answer will be in the form of the square root of x plus the square root of y here is a plus here must be a plus a good example is 5 plus 2 multiplied by the square root of 6 all square root likewise if we have a minus 2 multiply by the square root of b all square root our answer will be represented in the form of the square root of x minus the square root of y here is a minus here must also be a minus an example is 7 minus 2 multiply by the square root of 12 all square root whenever you are given a quadratic third of this form your answer must be in this form and whenever you are given a quadratic third question of this form your answer must be represented like this this is whenever you are dealing with square root of a binomial quadratic third but for the cube root of a binomial quadratic third the conditions are different also consider a quadratic third in the form of a plus or minus the square root of b but instead of a square root we're going to be taking the cube root that is for a plus the square root of b and here all cube root our answer will be represented in the form of x plus the square root of y for example if we are given this quadratic third to find the cubic root here the first term which is a has no square root our answer will be in the form of x plus the square root of y here x has no square root on it also if we have a minus the square root of b to find the cube root of this expression our answer will be in the form of x minus the square root of y because here is a minus here must be a minus this is usually the first step before you start solving the question for instance if we have 72 minus 32 root 5 and we are to find the cube root of this quadratic third the first step is to equate this given expression to this answer this is our step number one which you are going to see shortly but observe a variation if we have the square root of a plus the square root of b and we are to find the cube root of this quadratic third in such a case because we have the first term having a square root and the second term is also having a square root we are going to treat the answer like the square root of a binomial quadratic third and you are going to see the reason in an example 
here our answer will be in the form of the square root of x plus the square root of y for example if we have 24 multiplied by root 3 plus 16 multiplied by root 7 and we have to find the cubic root of this quadratic sword the first step is we're going to represent our answer in this form even before we start solving in addition if i have the square root of a minus the square root of b and i will take the cube root of this quadratic sword my answer will be in the form of the square root of x minus the square root of y for this an example is taking the cube root of 18 multiplied by the square root of 3 minus 14 multiplied by the square root of 5. The aim of this section is to enable you understand the differences in the representation of binomial quadratic sword when it is a cube root and when it is a square root. The first step to begin solving the problem is very important. If you don't understand the first step, then you won't be able to get to the final result. Before we solve some questions, it is important to mention here that if we have a plus the square root of b all cube roots and our answer will be represented in the form of x plus the square root of y. This can be rewritten as a plus the square root of b all to the power of 1 over 3 is x plus the square root of y. Next, a plus the square root of b. Here we have x plus the square root of y. Next, if you remove this cube root, on the other side is going to be to the power of 3. That means we are expanding this bracket three times. Then you expand by distribution. This is always the second step when solving the cube root of a binomial quadratic sword. Now that you have understood the basic concepts in the square root and cube root of binomial quadratic sword. Next, in the next session, we are going to take some questions and you will learn step by step method of getting to the final answer in any of the conditions. I hope this was helpful.